I see a lot of people always talking about why VAR is bad, why they should not use it, but I never really hear any good reasoning behind the argument. So today I'm going to explain what VAR is and why you should consider using something else like let's or cons. A little history, ES6 came out a while ago and before ES6 there was only the VAR keyword which allows us to declare variables and after ES6 came out we were able to use let and cons to declare variables. To the new JavaScript user, you're probably not going to really understand the difference between VAR and let's, but cons is pretty straightforward. It just means that you can declare a variable as a constant and you won't be able to reassign that variable a value. Now VAR has some tricky things behind it so understanding it is very crucial and knowing when not to use it is also crucial. It's more than just declaring a variable and it can actually change the way your entire program functions. Now the short TLDR of VAR is actually very simple to understand and we'll look at a couple of examples not just in JavaScript but in another language just to really understand the differences of scope. So there are three main scopes that you need to really worry about. One function scope, two, global scope, and three, block scope. Let's talk about global scope first, because that's the easiest one. So I'm inside my node shell over here. This allows you to simply write, execute code, basically just a ripple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type global. Now you actually have this global object over here. And this global object has methods that you can actually invoke. It's how you're able to actually access the set interval and set timeout functions. Now, when we declare a variable with the var keyword in the global scope, what actually happens is the variable itself is attached to the global object as a property. So let's go ahead and declare a variable called money and let's just give the value of 1000. Now, if I type global again, you're going to see that I have money as a property on the global object. But what if I use the let keyword? Let's call this let bank equal chase. And now if I type global again, you're going to see that we did declare a variable with the let keyword, but it's not on the global object. So that's what happens when you declare a variable with the var keyword in the global scope. Now let's just simply write a quick function and let's just use the var keyword. Let's give it the value of one. Now, if I go ahead and if I type global, you're going to see that we do have test over here as a property in the global object, but that's a function though. That's not referring to this variable over here. Now, if I call test, nothing's going to happen because we're not doing anything with this function. We're just simply declaring a variable. That's pretty much it when it comes to var in the global scope. But now let's actually go into a more complex example. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And I'm going to go and implement a function. So test function. And I'm going to declare a variable. So I declared a variable called money with the const keyword. So that means we can't reassign a value to money. And I'm going to go ahead and just simply have a if condition. And I'm going to check to see if money is greater than or equal to 5,000. Then we're going to go inside this block over here. And this is where block scope comes in. Block scope pretty much means everything that is inside the scope of the block. And the block in this case are the curly braces which pretty much define the body of our if condition right over here. We can also specify other block scope as well with a pair of curly braces. So wherever you see curly braces, think of that as block scope, because it is, except for obviously, except for functions and classes. But when we, whenever we have if conditions, we have block scope right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare a variable, let's call this bank, and I'm gonna go ahead and log bank outside, or I'm gonna log bank inside the block scope over here, which is gonna be perfectly valid. What if I try to, reference bank outside of the block scope. Let's see what happens. So let's call our function. And now let's execute our code. And you're going to see that it is actually logged twice at a console. So even though we are outside the block scope, we're still able to reference bank. But what if we actually change var to let? What happens then? You're going to see that we have a reference error and it says bank is not defined. So this is the difference between var and let. Let is block scope and var is function scope. Whenever we declare a variable with var, what actually happens is the interpreter actually moves the variable all the way up to the top as if you declared it up there. That's something called hoisting, and we're not gonna really focus so much on that right now, but you can think of hoisting as moving the variable declaration all the way to the top whenever you use the var keyword, but that's initially what is happening. Okay, so if we have the variable up here, it is pretty much accessible literally anywhere in the function because we're already at the top level of the function already. We can have as many scopes as we want and we can reference bank. So that's basically what's happening whenever you are using the var keyword. However, if you use the let keyword, let keyword is block scope. So that means it is only ever going to exist inside the scope of these curly braces right over here. If we try to reference it outside, it's not gonna work. Now if we use const, and if we try to run our code, it's the same thing. Cons is also block scope as well. 
So whenever you use the var keyword, so think of it like this. If you use the var keyword, the entire function owns the variable. You can reference it anywhere inside within inside the closure of that function. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to go ahead and create a simple Java file. And I don't want you guys to worry so much about the Java language, but I'm just showing you guys this just to show you guys how it works in other languages as well. So over here, we have a simple program. We have our main method. Don't worry about it. Just understand that this is the main method that is invoked whenever we run our program. So we can see right over here that I have a variable called age declared it's an integer and we're giving it the value of 22 and then what we're doing is we have an if condition again it literally looks identical to other languages but over here we have our block scope over here now i can actually just compile this code using java c test.java it's going to work just fine and to execute it we're going to do java test and it prints out 10 simple but now watch this if i try to reference num outside of the block scope you're actually going to see that we're going to get an error over here. And if I try to compile the code, it's not going to allow us to compile the code. It's going to say error cannot find symbol variable num. That's because we are outside of the block scope. And before I end this video, I want to show you one final example, because sometimes you might not want to use var in certain situations. So I'll uh, do a very simple example on why using var in our situation would be bad. So let's just go ahead and declare a variable called balance. And we'll just set this to 100,000. We're going to check to see if balance is greater than or equal to 100,000. And if it is, then what I want to do here is I want to declare a variable with the var keyword. And let's just call this uh, message. Hooray, you are rich. Now, let's say if I wanted to declare a variable outside over here now, let message equals you are not rich. If I try to compile the code, we're actually going to get an error. It's going to say identifier message has already been declared. What if I wanted to declare message inside this block only, and I wouldn't want it accessed outside of the block. And maybe if we're outside the block, we might want to declare the same variable name over again for whatever reason that we might need but it's not going to let us because we already have it declared right over here so hopefully that makes sense and gives you a good idea on when you should not use var because you can see right over here that this variable is hoisted over here so we can't redeclare that variable over again but now if i had this as let okay let's say we had as let you're gonna see we have no issue at all because this is only in the scope of the block once we leave this block scope that variable does not exist anymore so i think that pretty much concludes the clarification between var let and cons so hopefully that made sense so i'll see you guys in my next video peace